so it's notable that doesn't she doesn't start with the definition of art that she gets to a definition of art. One thing that is often baffling to people is like she'll exclude things like non-objective art, non-objective painting, say that's not art. You have to see how she's thinking about it, which is, okay, we have a general idea of art is that it's something that's universal, but it's very personal and people's reactions to it. And then she's going to unearth, why do we have these uh, ma major reactions to it? What is the root of our need for it? And it's only after getting an answer to the question of why human beings need art that then we can define it and say, well, there, not everything that, quote, looks like art that hangs on a wall can, can fulfill this need. So in other words, it's by understanding the need that art fulfills that allows us to give a precise definition of art and that we can thereby exclude things from the realm of art that have superficial similarities to it.